Well, UI animation, an important element when it comes to animating a viral reel. No matter what you're animating, there will be a time when you need to tackle this type of animations. In this video, we are going to learn how we can turn this flat UI design into an animated reel. This was a requested topic and I have planned to do more videos if we get enough views. So comment we want more if you want these type of videos. This video is simple and everyone can follow. So let's begin. Alright, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I'm just gonna import the UI design that I have in here. And, and I'm gonna set the import kind on composition and the footage dimension is set on layer size. This is important and I'm gonna hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna go and make a new composition. I'm gonna set it on 1080 by 9020. The frame rate is 30 frames per second and so let's hit OK. Now I'm just gonna bring the UI design here. So here's the UI design that we have and we need to animate it and make it better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna animate the UI design with the camera. Now the camera animation for the UI design is all about the creativity. But the common way that usually editors do is that they flip the UI design and they will animate it by a rolling camera sort of. So let me show you how. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new camera and the type is set on one node and the preset, I'm just going to change it to 50 millimeters and then let's hit OK. Now, on the next step, what we need to do is that we need to create a new null object and this will control the camera. So I'm just going to call it the camera controller. All right. And then let's just set it also on 3D and let's just parent the camera to the camera controller. OK, good. Now let's just reveal the rotation for the UI design and let's just turn it into 3D and then I'm just going to use the X position. Let's just uh, rotate it for like minus 25. Okay, this seems good. And also let's just scale it. Right now, this seems good. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press P to reveal the position for the camera and I'm just going to animate it, let's say from here to here something like this we will have some animation like this and let's just set the easing on 75 percent great and now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to duplicate the camera and i'm going to parent the camera controller to the camera controller 2 and this will allow us to control the camera 2 and i'm going to you know create a pretty basic zoom in effect something like this and then i'm just gonna duplicate it one more time and then again we're just gonna parent it and lastly we're just going to offset the camera something like this and then we just need to set the easing on 75 percent as well Okay, so I just needed to do a reverse, so I'm sorry. So the camera should go down, not up. Something like this. Okay, so this is all we need for the camera animation. And it looks ugly because the design is ugly itself. So we need to work on the design. And once we work on the design, everything will get better. Trust me. So now we're just going to go into the UI design, which is the main thing that we need to do for this video. So as you see, it consists of the basics and gradients and icons and uh, selections. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the base layer. Well, this is just one. This is empty. So, so let's just select the gradients and we're going to redesign this base of the, you know, UI. So to do that, I'm just going to open the UI design and I'm going to open the gradients. As you see in here, we have a dimension of 579 by 1128. So I'm just going to go towards the shape tool. Let's just right now set it on none. And let's just turn off this stroke as well. So I'm just going to uh, create a rectangle like this and I'm going to give it the size of the gradient in here. 579 by 1128. Okay, this is good. Now let's just set it in here. And now, okay, we need to work on the size. Okay, and now let's just round it a bit. Okay, this is good. Now let's go and work on the color. 
we don't need this one let's just hide it i'm just gonna go towards the linear gradient or radial one i should that should be better and let's just delete this one we don't need this and what i need to do is that so by default your radial gradient should be like this and it should have a hundred percent opacity what you need to do is that you need to change the location to let's say about 75 percent and then you can just hit the opacity in here and set the opacity on zero so this will give us a color like that and then i'm just gonna drag this slider and i'm gonna draw something like this okay this is the base shape I'm, and i'm gonna call it the base and we are going to place it in here so okay let's just reveal everything you will see that immediately it looks mm, better but still we need to work on it so on the next step what we can do is that we can go towards the layer styles and we can select an outer glow uh, or i'm sorry we can select the inner glow and then i'm just going to open the inner glow and let's just change from the color type from the single color to gradient and now let's just click on edit gradients and i'm just gonna you know pick up a green color okay this looks good let's just set it on the normal okay this is good now on the next step what we can do is that we can just duplicate this layer and i'm gonna call it the light sweep because what we need to do on the next step is that i'm just gonna add a cc light sweep effect and okay so we want to sort of make a you know a glowing line for this design well to do that what we need to do first we need to increase the width and then on the next step let's just set it on the center so we can see the line okay let me just solo it so you can see it better let's just set the width on 500 and let's just uh, increase the edge intensity and decrease the uh, sweep intensity and let's just set the light uh, reception to cut out so now you will see that we have something like this let's just change its color so you guys can see it better and if i can now change the duration as you see we will have something like this now in order to make it work because we have the layer style enabled we need to delete it now as soon as i delete the layer styles you will see that everything works fine so now we can just work on it so let's just you know decrease the width a bit like into 200 that seems good and you see that we will now have these sort of light effects so still we need to work on it okay this, this looks good let's just change its color to green by the way i already have a video dedicated to this type of videos where i explain everything in detail how to make a glowing boxes you can check that out now all right so now this seems good let's just parent the light sweep to the base layer as well now at the end what we can do is that we can add a deep glow to make it a bit better so now we will have something like this and then we just need to animate the duration so I'm just going to animate the duration for, let's just say, from 0 to 10 seconds for 5 entire rotation. So this is going to be our box. And as you see, it looks pretty interesting at this point. Now, here's the basic. Now, on the next step, what we need to do is that we need to work on these selections to make them better. Right now, they are just sort of a bit bad. So to do that, what I need to do is that we're just going to go towards the rectangle tool. And then I'm just going to select a regular rectangle. And let's just turn off fill. We can just work with the stroke. So I'm just going to set a 0 0.6 pixels stroke. And I'm going to draw a rectangle like this. And let's just make it round for like 5 pixels. So this is going to be the main one. It looks good. And we can just add a deep glow and let's just turn down the intensity we don't want to be all shiny okay this is good now let's go and design the text so i'm just gonna write 70 
and then I'm just gonna set it in here okay this seems good now I'm just gonna quickly redesign it Great, now this is our selection. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna delete this selection one because this is what we have in here. And I'm gonna add a deep glow effect to the numbers because I think this will make it a little bit better. So let's just um, get the deep glow effect from the first shape layer and let's just paste it in here. And I'm gonna just decrease its radius to 250. And now let's just uh, enable the chromatic aberration and let's just set it on green and blue and we can just increase its amount to make it a bit better and I'm just going to do the same thing for the next number so this is going to be our animation in here and now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select everything and I'm going to pre-compose it and I'm going to call it selection 1 now on the next step what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the card and then I'm just going to select them and when the time indicator is at zero, I'm just going to press P to reveal the position. And then I'm just going to go a few frames forward, let's say 50 frames, and I'm going to set another keyframe. Now let's press J to go towards the first keyframe, and I'm going to push them a bit up like this. And then I'm just going to select them, and I'm going to apply these standard easings. All right, on the next step, what I need to do is that I'm just going to select them one more time and I'm going to press Shift plus T to open the opacity and I'm going to set the opacity keyframe. I'm going to set them on zero and then like around five frames forward, I'm just going to set it on 100 again. Okay, this is good. Now, what I need to do is that I'm just going to offset these keyframes by a few frames. So... Now, let's take a look. Okay, this looks super good. Now we have the animation for the UI. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna, for the sake of time, saving, saving time, I'm just gonna replace them with the selection one, but you need to redesign it for every other selection. And the cool thing you can do is that you can just go towards your project panel duplicating the selection and then replacing it with the original and changing it. So that way, it won't affect everything so but for the sake of time i'm just gonna right now quickly uh, re replace them in here great we need to de delete these ones we don't need them anymore okay this is good now if we get back you'll see that we'll have something like this and it looks way way better from what it was before but still we need to sort of make a offset between the keyframes so I'm just gonna quickly do that okay we need to do the reverse sync okay this looks good now let's get back to the original composition and let's just play with the design and make it a little, a little, little bit better. So I'm just going to decrease the scale. And then what I'm going to do in here, I'm just going to add an opacity keyframe for like five frames. So we have something like this. Okay, this looks good. I'm, and I'm going to like enable the motion blur so this will make it a little bit better now let's go towards the background design that we have in here so i'm just gonna create a new solid layer and i'm just gonna add a gradient ramp effect into it now what i'm going to do is that let's just set it on the radial type and let's just increase it something to here so we have something like this i will say this good now let's just turn it into black and this one let's just turn it into a green color okay 
this looks good but we need to you know turn it down a bit right now it's just too rough and now i'm just gonna add a noise effect and i'm gonna set the noise like into eight percent we don't want to be all noisy but mm, five percent seems good now let's go and create a new solo layer again and i'm gonna add the optical flares and let's go towards the presets and um, by the way i already have explained all of these effects in the hills and coal editing styles which you can check it in here so i'm just gonna select one lens flare so i think this one should be good let's just set it on transparent let's just change the type to 3d okay this one looks good but however let's just decrease it down a bit and we can add a sort of a tint effect to change the black and white okay i'm not happy with the preset let's just change it to something that looks more suitable for this design okay this one okay this looks better okay this is good now on the next step what we need to do is that we need to color grade our reels because high quality reels usually have a color grading on the assets so to do that we need to create a new adjustment layer so i'm just gonna quickly do that and i'm gonna add the looks by red bullet red giant magic bullet so let's just click on edits and let's just select the presets i personally like this one better now what we can do on the next step is that we can create a new adjustment layer again and this time i'm just gonna add the flicker effect and let's just turn down the range frequency to like something like five okay this seems good but however we just need to change this type to 2d because so it doesn't get affected by the camera movement okay this is good now on the last step what we can do is that we can create a new adjustment layer again and this time i'm gonna add the optics compensation effect let's just reverse the lens and let's just set it on vertical and this will you know create this sort of distortions so let's just increase it to like 25 percent so this will be our final result and i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for future content thank you so much goodbye